Hey, hey, I've got something cool to show you guys. So I'm sure that you've all heard of Robinhood, the stock trading app that's become super popular in the last couple of years. Hell, you might have even had a Robinhood ad before this video started playing. Well, this guy went and created a CLI shell for Robinhood so that you can view your portfolio and buy and sell stocks right there at the command line. Now, this is built upon another GitHub project that is linked here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pull this up just to make sure that I give credit to all of the devs that made this program possible. So this is a Python framework that interacts with the unofficial Robinhood API, but this gets pulled in when we install the dependencies for Robinhood shell. Uh, so no reason to actually go and install this manually, everything that you need uh, is right here inside of this program. So to get started, go ahead and clone or download this into a directory on your PC. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have Python 3 installed. You probably do if you're on Linux, but if you don't for whatever reason, or if you're using Windows or something else, uh, make sure that you have the latest version of Python. And first, we need to also install the dependencies that are listed inside of requirements.txt. Now, you should be able to install this just doing pip install r requirements.txt. You may have some issues though. I had some problems on Mint 19.3. I think it was the date util um, library for whatever reason, pimp couldn't find that from the string that's listed here. So I had to manually install that one and a couple of other ones, but thankfully it's not too complicated. If you try to run a Python program and a library is missing, it'll tell you right there inside of the command line that what library is missing and then just copy and paste, really easy to resolve. Uh, so once you have all the dependencies installed, you want to also make a copy of config.py.sample and make that copy be named config.py or you could just uh, rename config.py.sample. You don't need to actually have both. Uh, but basically what this is for is where you put in your username for Robinhood and your password for Robinhood. If you're not sure what those are, you can find it under your account info in Robinhood, um, or at least you can see your username. I don't think you can see your password in plain text anywhere because that would be really stupid. Uh, so if you don't know your password, you're gonna have to figure that out, uh, but just write it inside of this text file here. And you'll also want to make shell.py executable because by default it's not. So that's easy, just chmod plus x shell.py and then you can go ahead and run it. Now, the first time that you run it, it's going to email you a code to whichever email you have associated with Robinhood. So it'll uh, be printed out right here for you to input that code. Go ahead and check your email, input that code, and then you'll be at the same screen that I have here. So as you can see, there's not much to really look at here just yet. This is a command line utility, of course, but you can type question mark to see a list of commands that are available to you. Now, personally, I think I would prefer a more verbose output for these commands that actually tells you what they do. Now you can do a question mark followed by the letter and then that'll actually give you the output that tells you what it does. So you can see L, for example, will list the current portfolio of whichever account you're logged in as in case you have more than one. Uh, but personally, I wish it was more like this just by default where it actually tells you what the, um, uh, what the commands are as well as what they do. Luckily, this is written in Python, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to add that in if it really ends up bothering me much, uh, bothering me enough. So let's take a look at my portfolio. 
Uh, so it just lists everything here. Now, this should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway. I'm not a professional stock trader. I'm not an economics expert. I'm not here to really give you guys any type of advice with that. I literally have maybe a year of hands-on experience trading stocks under my uh, under my belt. So take any advice or recommendations that I may or may not give with the largest grain of salt that you can possibly get your hands on. So anyway, this is my portfolio. You can see my portfolio value. So this is a uh, dollar amount, how much my portfolio is worth right now. Uh, this doesn't include uh, this one over here, buying power. So this just refers to how much money that I have in different stocks uh, and crypto, even though I don't see my crypto options listed here. I guess that's something that's missing because I should have some Ethereum on here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that's just the value of the different assets that I'm holding. And then you can see my buying power is 190. So this is cash that I have in my account, either from transferring it to Robinhood from my bank or by selling other stocks. That's actually why this is here is from selling um, some Ethereum and I think some other assets that I had that were finally at a, at a decent enough ROI. Um, and then you have the change. So this is the total change from when you first started investing to now. Obviously, it's not very much. It's less than a 1% gain. But I am happy that it is at a 1% gain um, because about a month ago, it was at a 10% loss. So this isn't too bad. I can live with this. Um, and then it just shows the individual stocks that I have. So over here, symbol, this is uh, like the stock code that it actually trades under. So like you have uh, COKE here. Um, and quick public service announcement about this particular stock. This is uh, a place where I kind of got bamboozled. Um, so originally I had this KO, which is the actual Coca-Cola company, like the company that makes pretty much every drink in the world. C-O-K-E, this is just a bottling plant that's in like North Carolina or something. My buddy tricked me because I had this and he was asking me why I was buying the uh, Latino Coca-Cola. Like he was trying to say that that's what this was. Um, so I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I don't want to just have the Latino one. I want to have the legit one. Uh, so I bought that thinking that's what it was, but it's not. So do your research, kids, before you invest any type of money in anything, because uh, you can see over here my return. So uh, this shows returns in dollar amounts, uh, which is basically just the difference between what you bought that stock at and then what it currently sits at. So I'm getting screwed pretty hard on Coke right now. Uh, probably because this factory is closed or it's probably running at diminished capacity due to the whole COVID nonsense and social distancing stuff. Um, but yeah, there's there's other stocks here. And then you can see the, um, the, so this is total return. Then you can see daily return. So I lost about $4.50 on this just today. Um, and then it also gives you a percentage amount for how much it's gone up or changed. Uh, so yeah, Lots of losers that I have in here right now. A um, couple of big winners like this one I'm pretty happy about. That's got a really nice ROI on it right now. Um, see, it's more than a 100% return. Um, you can also see the orders that you have open as well. So if you do O, these are all the different uh, orders that I currently have pending. So you can see with DAL, I think that's Delta Airlines, um, I have a limit buy for seven shares. So right now, Delta Airlines is trading at 2104. So if their stock price dips to $19.50, then automatically I'm going to be purchasing seven shares. And this isn't even something that you have to keep an eye on. Like this will just execute right off the bat. Um, same thing with Royal, well actually Royal Caribbean, I have a stop loss. So with uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, let me come up here to see 
everything. So you can see that I bought Royal Caribbean at $31 and currently it's trading at $36.37 and I've got 14 shares. So what this is, is that if Royal Caribbean drops back down to a price of $35, I'm gonna automatically sell 11 of those shares um, so that I don't end up losing more and more and more. Uh, I'll keep a couple, because I think Royal Caribbean is a halfway decent stock, but I'm looking to make a little bit of quick money off of them. I hope that it can wait long enough until I get my dividend payment, because Royal Caribbean actually uh, pays pretty decent dividends. Uh, dividend, by the way, is um, it's not really a percentage. I, I think it's more of a fixed amount, but it's basically a certain amount of money that a company pays you per stock just for having the stock. So I don't know what Royal Caribbean's is off the top of my head, but let's pretend that it's a dollar, right? So they're going to give me a dollar per share. So I got 14 um, every quarter. So they're going to pay me $14 just for having that share. Um, it's not always cash though. Some companies, they pay out their dividends as just more stock. So instead of them giving me 14, uh, you know, dollars cash, they'll give me uh, 14 shares of whatever, uh, or not 14 shares, but they'll give me $14 worth of their stock instead. So yeah, this is the Robinhood uh, command line shell. It's unofficial by the way. So, you know, any type of problems or whatever that you might have, you're on your own. You can't go chasing down Robinhood, trying to blame them. Uh, maybe you can try to blame the dev, but I don't think he's gonna take responsibility for uh, your problems either. So last thing I think I'll show you is how to actually purchase a stock from the command line. So uh, B is the buy command. And then you have to specify the symbol of which one that you want to buy. So I think I'll get a couple of shares of Santander because they're trading at a pretty low price right now, uh, only $2.04. And then you have to specify the quantity that you want. So let's see, right now uh, I have 284. Let's make it six so that it's 290 and then specify the price that you're willing to buy it at. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to $2. And it says it's done. So let's see if that actually executed or if it just went to the, um, to the order list. Uh, so yeah, you see that that didn't actually go ahead and execute. I just updated the price and well, I didn't update the price. I just updated um, what the showing the price. So that's probably not going to execute today because the market's getting ready to close. Uh, they're at they went from 204 to 202 just since I started making this video. But if I do O, now you can see that Santander got added to my. Um, to my list of open orders. So now I've got a market buy open for this for $2. Um, and also obviously make sure that you type your prices and your symbols and all of that stuff correctly. You don't want to accidentally purchase something that you don't want to have. Um, so yeah, that's the Robinhood CLI. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to download it. Uh, let me know what you think about it. And also let me know what uh, stocks you think are good to buy. Cause obviously I'm not an expert. Like you can see here, I fell for the USO meme and I'm getting burned pretty bad by that. Uh, hopefully it'll turn around sooner rather than later. And I can finally sell this nonsense. Cause I don't even earn dividends for that. I was hoping to just make a quick buck off of this. Same thing with Santander. They're not failing as hard, but uh, I don't want them to fail any harder. I want that to start going up so I can make some money. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Like the video, share it with your friends.